Guys, right now we're joined by Adam with Ride Entertainment. We're here at the Gershflower booth because we want to talk about something really cool that's coming to New Jersey, and that is going to be the American Dream, which is a, a mega mall, and you guys are putting in this crazy tangled two coasters in one kind of thing. Yep. And two record-breaking roller coasters. Yes, they are. So let's talk about this. You've got a, it's a spinning coaster and an infinity coaster, right? Yeah, it's actually a launch aero fighter. A launch so, aero fighter. So what it is, it's the clone of Takabisha that's at Fujiku Highlands. We had that layout done already and it fit the space that American Dream had. And then we wound the spinning coaster through it to really create a really unique experience. And I, I know if, if our listeners out there would know Hyde, who's been on, traveled all over the world, Takabisha is his favorite out of any of those rides. Yeah, it's a fantastic thrill. And I really like on that particular ride, the combination of a launch and a lift on the same coaster. Very cool. So um, when you start out with the, the dive coaster or the, the uh, launch Euro fighter, it starts out with the launch, right? Yes, you actually get dispatched to go through a hot line roll, go down the launch track, get accelerated, go through three inversions, then you go up the vertical lift. It's crazy. Now, this is going to be built in a mall, which is about kind of baffling. How close are you to the ceiling when you're up at the top of the uh, top of the, the big drop? Sure. So the ceiling height actually, we have three places where we pop out of the ceiling. So oh, the Jeff. three highest points on the Eurofighter, including the lift, you actually go up into a big glass box. That's you're gonna look, awesome. That's a, you're going to look out on Manhattan as we hold you there, and then drop you down 122 degrees. I, I imagine like the head chopper effect there would be pretty crazy. Uh, it's going to be nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, the other coaster there is a spinning coaster. Mm -hmm. And this came out of nowhere. I will say, like, we heard nothing about this, and then out of nowhere, two roller coasters come in. Kind of a big surprise announcement, especially the, the long spinning coaster, mm -hmm. the world's longest. Yes, yeah. So, and we're actually calling it the world's uh, longest free spinning coaster and the world's tallest free spinning coaster, because there's some, something opening uh, in the middle of the country next year at STC. It's going to actually uh, be taller. But that one actually has some magnetized reduction on it, so you don't do any free spinning. This one is our traditional Gerslauer free spinning coaster. Now, the question on my mind, how the hell did you guys design that roller coaster to go in between the other roller coaster? It took a lot of time and work because uh, Andreas, our chief engineer, not only had to do the design work just to get the columns and track to fit, uh, on the spinning coast, we have a lot of block breaks, so all that emergency egress also has to be oh, threaded down think about through that. the ride. So you're going to have an amazing amount of head choppers on both the spinning coaster and the launch Euro fighter. And I love on the model, they actually had like the evacuation stairs built in there. So we can actually see all of that. We were noting that earlier. We're like, oh, they took the time to put all of that oh, in yeah, there. Yeah, pretty much every detail is in there. It, it is something else. It's just going to be, it's very much like you and I have both had to transfer our Smiler over to England. Yes. And it's almost as fun to watch as it is to ride. And I think mm -hmm. this is going to have a lot of that same thing. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of kinetic energy in the area. We have six vehicles on the Eurofighter, eight on the spinning coaster. Oh, that's fantastic. Can you imagine all of them going at the same time? It's just going to look crazy. So I know we were, we were talking about this one thing, and you said this is a launched Eurofighter. Mm -hmm. We use the term Infinity Coaster. They kind of get thrown around interchangeably within the community. What would and you say? Normally, is, normally it's like angry YouTube comments. Yeah. Like we were talking about Smiler. Like, oh, that's not this, it's that. What's the difference between like the, the Infinity Coaster and the Eurofighter? Sure. So the Eurofighter developed really as Burslauer's thrill platform. They had the bobsled, the spinning coaster, it came out with the Eurofighter. So that's what you see on, I would say, a majority of our small to medium rides. So Casino Pier that we opened recently, Oaks next year, Dairy, and those are all Eurofighters. Uh, the Infinity Coaster, like going into Knott's Berry Farm, has the same track gauge, but it's actually a larger vehicle. So bigger seats, a little wider. And it's really kind of a V2 of the Eurofighter. Um, we use that on most of the larger layouts that Gerslauer does now. The main difference, though, is that on American Dream, we needed tighter turning radius. Uh -huh. So this can actually fit in a smaller space with the same amount of track when compared to an Infinity Coaster. And that's why we're doing it on the Eurofighter, not the Infinity Coaster platform. Now, I've got another strong nerd question for you. Is yes. it over the shoulders or lap bars on the uh, Bones Zero Fighter? This one is over the shoulder, and the reason is on the lap bar system, we cannot fit both a launch mechanism okay. and ah. the mechanism for the lap bar with the hydraulic cylinders down under the seat. So we have to have those behind the guests so we have the entire magnet that's on the vehicle below the car. Well, there we go. That's cool. I, I've got one more. we got all these oh questions. Oh, my God, you got so many. Uh, uh, real quick. If Park has an older Eurofighter, could you retrofit it from over the shoulders to lap bars? Unfortunately, no. Okay. The, the difference is we have, I think it's several hundred kilograms worth of additional weight for housing that we need to do okay. when we move those cylinders down under the vehicle. And since they were kind of engineered to X weight, we can't just put Y weight on it and make it work. Yeah. Or else Z is going to fall apart. Yes. Exactly. 
All right. I guess, Drew, do you have any more questions? No, I'm good. I, I, I've got one more. I just want to know, what do you think is going to be the best part of a launch coaster, and what's going to be the best part of the spin coaster going into Jersey? The best part of the launch coaster is definitely going to be just being held out top. When you sit there 150 feet in the air and you're looking straight at Manhattan, I mean, that, at night, yeah. that's going to be unbeatable. Spinning coaster is just, you're going to get lost in that because you're spinning in every direction, plus going through 685 feet of track, you're not going to know where you are the entire time. It sounds like it's going to make me dizzy. It, it, it might. It might, yeah. But uh, I can't wait. This is going to open up in New Jersey at this new Mega Mall, and it's 2019 project? 2019, yeah. All right, my friend. Well, we will be there yep. once it opens up. Adam, thank you, thank you very much. Happy great, to. Great roller coasters you got going on here. Thanks.